Hi guys, a very happy Sunday evening to each and every one of you. If you're viewing my channel for the first time, I just wanna welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Tonight, I'm gonna be doing a very, very simple dish. And this is, if you come on down, I wanna ask you if you remember this thing. So here I have here in this bag, I saw them in the store and they're fresh and I couldn't resist buying them. So these are pigeon peas that we, I know from back home and there's other countries that use pigeon peas as well. You can find them in the dried one, in the can, and these are the freshest one you can get in North America. So tonight I'm gonna be, I have a whole fresh coconut here that I'm gonna be breaking this. My husband is gonna juice, um, squeeze the milk out for me. And I'm gonna make a nice pigeon peas cook up tonight with chicken. So I wanna show you how we do this. I will just, um, it's like a bean. So what you wanna do is just open one end and, and just take the pot inside. So this is what it looks like, just like a bean. And these are what you're gonna use to make your cook up rice with. When it's green like this, it's nice and soft, so you don't have to pre-boil or you don't have to soak it or anything like that. You can, you can add it to the dish as fresh as it is like this. So I'm gonna show the step by step how I'm making it with this, but this gives a beautiful flavor and it is known to be a Guyanese special dish. So I'm gonna finish peeling all these ones and getting out the little pods, and then I'll come back and show you the next step. peas cook up this dish is good for vegetarian and non-vegetarian today I'm not gonna add the meat into the dish I'm gonna cook the meat separately but you can also add meat into the dish <music> about a teaspoon of oil coconut oil I'm gonna fry up my onions for this pigeon peas cook up and I'm gonna give it a stir my two cloves of garlic in here So I'm going to give this a stir to mix in the garlic and the onion. As soon as my onion is translucent, I will add in my rice. And we're getting there. And this smells amazing. So I'm going to add the rice now. And I wash the rice before I'm adding it into here. And this is just two measuring cups of rice and I'm just stirring this up oh, the garlic is, was catching on the side but that's fine it's gonna have a nice flavor and I'm gonna add my salt and black pepper at this point so I'm adding one teaspoon of salt one and a half teaspoon of salt I will check the taste later if I need to add more 
and I'm gonna just grate some fresh black pepper on top so I'm gonna give this a stir and we're gonna add our pigeon peas because we want it to fry up a little and I got the three quarter cup of pigeon peas I'm gonna fry it up it with the rice so it can get a nice flavor So now I'm going to add the rest of my seasoning and I want to add my green onions and the thyme. You can add fine thyme in here as well. Uh, it's raining and it's very windy outside so I can't get to go out and pick fine thyme. And that's why I add broad leaf thyme. That's fine too. And I'm going to mix all this up. It's looking nice. beautiful color I'm gonna put in my three pepper from my garden and these are um, I'm not cutting them open because I don't want it to be too peppery these are very flavorful pepper and I have a yellow I have a red and I have a green and when you feel that it's sticking on the bottom it's time for you to add your liquid and this dish is very simple it's doesn't take too much so i'm gonna add my coconut milk and this is one coconut whole coconut that we squeeze out from our omega juicer and it's about a cup of freshly squeezed no water added but i'm gonna have to add some water to this so along with my one cup of coconut milk i'm gonna add four cups of water and we're gonna cover this and let it cook on medium heat and until the rice is nice and soft so I'm gonna cover this and we're gonna come back I like how the pepper look on top and we're gonna come back and check for to see if we need to add any more salt or any other flavor so let's check how this is doing I have it on medium heat and it's cooking up nicely I want to check my pigeon peas to see if it's soft. Mm. I have to I have to add a little bit more water. So in all together, I add four and two, six cups of water, one cup of milk, and I have to add about two more cups of water. So I'm gonna do that right now because the rice is not done yet and the pigeon peas is a little bit on the harder side. So I'm gonna add as I go, and I just wanna taste now to see if I have to add some more salt in here. I'm just looking for my peppers. I see the yellow one is not here, it's missing. So I'm gonna taste a little bit, and then I will see if I have to add anything else. So it tastes nice, but it feels like something is missing. So I'm gonna add some cook up rice seasoning and this is it here the chief brand cook up rice seasoning i'm just gonna add about a teaspoon of that and that's gonna enhance the flavor and make it a little bit more flavorful so my one teaspoon of cook up rice seasoning because when i'm cooking any kind of food i don't like when my dish is white like this but this what i remember that pigeon peas cook up we always used to cook it white without any color, but you can go ahead and add color if you like. And I'm gonna have to let this cook a little bit more. So I'll come back and show you the next step. So I'm gonna check this out now. Oh, looking good. And I can see that the rice is cooked now. And the pigeon peas, you can see the pigeon peas all over. So I'm gonna turn off my stove. I'm gonna wait for my chicken to finish and then I'm gonna plate it up and let you guys know how this tastes. So my pigeon peas cook up vegetarian style and I cook my chicken to eat on the side. You can add chicken in, you can add your meat into the cook up as well. But today I did it separate from the, um, from the rice and the pigeon peas.
chicken that I made to eat with that beautiful pigeon peas cook up. I did some bar juicy barbecue in my o barbecue chicken in my oven and we're gonna have this with our pigeon peas cook up for dinner. So guys, here is my pigeon peas cook up and my barbecue chicken that I made today to go with it. So for all my vegetarian friends, you can also have this dish as well. I'm gonna dig in and let you guys know how this tastes. I'm very excited. And this pepper here is my fla flavorful pepper from my garden. So I'm gonna dig in, I'm just drooling right now. I didn't have pigeon peas cook up for years and I saw it in the store and I couldn't resist. So cheers to all my viewers and all my subscribers. I wanna thank you guys for coming along with me on each and every one of my videos. So this mouthful is for you. Mm. Guys, so rich and so delicious. The pigeon peas give the cook up a whole different flavor. It's totally different from when you make it with black eyed peas or red peas such a unique flavor and with the coconut milk guys it's really really delicious so for all those who didn't have pigeon peas for a long time i hope you will give it a try soon and for those who never had pigeon peas before i hope you can try this dish you can make it in many different ways you can make pigeon peas too you can make it in different dishes and all my vegetarian friends I did make it in a version that you can have as well. So another bite with chicken. Mm. Guys, so good. So, so flavorful and so rich and so delicious. I'm so happy that I made this dish today. So I wanna say, if you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you would like me to make next. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? I have a lot more of good videos coming. Please do so. Until then, it's nice. Stay safe. Bye for now.